Welcome back to another Google AdMob tutorial. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up your account to use AdMob Mediation. For more information on the basics of what AdMob Mediation is and what it can do for your ad business, check out the video in our YouTube description link below. Before we dive in, here's a quick overview of the topics we'll cover in this video. First, we will highlight three important features that will help you use AdMob Mediation effectively. After that, we will walk you through the steps to set up mediation in your AdMob account. Finally, we will show you the AdMob Mediation Report where you can check key metrics for your mediated ad networks. As a quick refresher, mediation helps you earn more by managing all of your app's ad sources in one place, and AdMob has a few key features that help with that. The first feature is called Ad Network Optimization, or ANO. It works by pulling the freshest eCPM values from each ad network you work with based on historical performance. This is done using each network's reporting APIs. Then, AdMob dynamically reorders networks in the mediation waterfall based on these eCPM values so that the ad network with the highest CPM gets the opportunity to serve ads to your apps. ANO ensures you won't miss out on any spikes in CPM performance from your mediated ad networks. The second feature is called Real-Time CPM. Real-Time CPM works the same way as ANO, but for the AdMob network. This means the AdMob network will be re-evaluated and positioned in real-time in the mediation waterfall. The third feature is called Mediation Groups, which makes it easier for you to manage mediation. A mediation group is a collection of targeted ad units and countries that share the same mediation logic. Mediation groups help you to achieve simplicity and flexibility for your ad monetization strategy. In terms of simplicity, without mediation groups, you need to go into individual ad units and create a waterfall for each one. This can take a huge amount of time when you have tens or hundreds of ad units. With mediation groups, you can create one waterfall for multiple ad units by grouping these ad units into a single mediation group. This will help you to save your operational cost by allowing you to manage multiple ad units with one mediation setup. Second, mediation groups enable flexibility. Without mediation groups, one waterfall needs to cover all geos and networks and you cannot create country-specific waterfalls. For example, as you can see on the left, if you want to give Network 1 first look in the US but not in other geos, you would have to manually set flaws for each geo. In the example on the right, with mediation groups, you can set up very flexible waterfall rules and create different waterfalls for different geos. For example, you can set up Network 1 to always get a first look in the US while keeping everything else ANO enabled. Not only is this a one-time setup, you can also apply this setup to multiple ad units across multiple apps. Now that you understand how mediation groups, ANO, and real-time CPM can help you with mediation, next, let's take a look at a step-by-step -step UI walkthrough of how to create a mediation group. First, select Mediation menu from the sidebar of your AdMob homepage. Then, click on the Create Mediation Group button. You should now see the page titled new mediation group. Within this page, you will be asked to select which ad format and platform you wish to target with your new mediation group. Once you've chosen your desired ad format and platform, you can proceed to name your new mediation group. There is also the option to customize the location you would like to target. If you wish to target specific countries, click on the respective option and select from the drop-down menu. In this case, for demonstration purposes, we have selected Japan. You can also choose to exclude specific countries. In this example, we have selected to exclude the United States. Once you're done setting the locations you would and would not like to target, you will need to choose the ad units for the particular mediation group created. In this example, we have chosen two ad units for the mediation group, but you can always include even more ad units within your mediation groups or from multiple apps. Next, you need to choose the ad sources for your mediation group's waterfall. These ad sources will be ordered based on their CPM value, which you can either input manually or let ANO update automatically. To show how you can add an ad source to your waterfall, we have created a sample ad network that we'll use for this demo. 
Note that when you are adding your ad source, you will be prompted to enter an initial eCPM for the particular ad network. If you enable ANO, this value will be automatically adjusted thereafter. Each time you add a new ad source, you need to make sure each ad more ad unit in that mediation group has a corresponding new ad unit from that ad source. Please make sure to specify the correct ad unit with the right format and platform to ensure there will be no problem in the ad serving. By mapping it correctly, our SDK can communicate with other SDKs for everything to work automatically and seamlessly. To learn more, check out our technical tutorial video on how to integrate a third-party SDK into your app. Finally, your AdMob mediation report will surface key metrics for your mediated ad networks such as ad requests, clicks, impressions, and more. You can add various dimensions to organize your mediation report. For example, if you want to see your earnings broken down by countries, ad sources, or mediation groups, you can add those dimensions by clicking on the three dots at the bottom of the dimension list. You can also define what you want to see in the report by selecting a filter. AdMob will hide anything that doesn't match the filter criteria. Please make sure to check out our AdMob Help Center resource in the video description down below for more information on how to use the AdMob Mediation Report. And that's all we have for you in this tutorial. We learned about three key features called Ad Network Optimization, Real-Time CPM, and Mediation Groups. We also went through how to set up Mediation Groups and how to use AdMob Mediation Report in your AdMob account. Thank you for watching Google AdMob tutorials and we hope you have learned a thing or two. Before you jump off, we have more resources to share with you to help you get the most out of AdMob mediation. In addition to the video we mentioned on the basics of mediation, there are many other resources such as our developer guide and case studies on our AdMob blog in the description box down below. Be sure to subscribe to the Google AdMob channel for more best practices and tips on how you can grow your app further.